Welcome back in studio with me, Greg Bucky Buchanan, and uh, an exciting weekend for Lloydminster football. The Wheatland final took place Friday night, and we have a new Wheatland champion. Yeah, Lloyd Comps have been kind of knocking on the door for the last number of years, uh, but Holy Rosary always seem to have their number, not this time around. Lloyd Comp is, you know, they're a different looking team this year, uh, and, and they really handed Holy Rosary one during the regular season, and then on Friday at Armstrong Field on Lloyd Comp's home turf, uh, Holy Rosary jumps out to a 7-0 lead at halftime. But Lloyd Comp kind of uh, came out in that second half and took control of the game and, and they end up winning 17-7. So they're the Wheatland champions. Uh, you know, a good football game between those two teams as they now they go their separate ways and play provincials. Yeah, it should be exciting to see both uh, go into provincials as still uh, contenders, yep. certainly for their respective provincial championships. Uh, as good as the effort was from Holy Rosary, they just didn't have the same balance on offense that uh, Lloyd Comp did. As much as they tried to get downfield, the Barron's defense really slowed them down. Yeah, the Barron's defense did a good job. And on top of that, the Barron's just have a lot of offensive weapons, too. Uh, they can go through the air. They can go on the ground. Uh, their, I think their offense and their defensive line really did a job for them. And, and when it's this time of the year and you're, you're slugging it out on the field, you really need a lot, of line, a lot of work from your trenches. So your offensive and defensive line have to be strong. And Lloyd Combs was on Friday, a good indication going down that provincial road that uh, anything short of getting the provincial final for either one of those teams is, would be considered a disappointment. Absolutely. I think every single player on those respective rosters and, coaching st and coaches on their coaching staffs will echo that sentiment. Um, we're going to switch now to hockey where the Bobcats finally snapped their four-game home losing streak. Not a great effort against White Court on Saturday, but bouncing back on Sunday against uh, Okotoks with a 3-1 win. Yeah, and Okotoks comes into that game uh, one of the hottest teams in the South Division. Uh, you know, they had a tough weekend. Okotoks, how's this for a schedule? They play in Fort Mac on Friday, Bonneville Saturday night, then they come out for a late afternoon game against the Bobcats in Lloyd. And not making excuses for Okotoks, but it's good to see the Bobcats because sometimes when you have games kind of close together, they played Saturday night against White Court, lost 4 nothing, but come out with a solid effort the next day. So they really needed the win. Uh, Bobcats are not exactly where they want to be in the standings. Uh, so every win is very important and a nice bounce back for them after losing White Court the night before. And not only did they win 3-1, but it was a, not a typical Bobcats win of past years where they're out shooting the opposing team, but they just are better with their shot selection and execution, and then they also get timely goaltending. Out shooting them, I believe, was 36-18 oh, in shots. Yeah. So that's not something you've seen in recent no. years where they thoroughly controlled the pace of play. You know, a gritty effort. I, I think almost you have to look at it it was a road win at home, uh, and sometimes in the road you win ugly, and sometimes those wins, uh, whether it be ugly or pretty, are still two points, which the Bobcats need. So it's nice to see some secondary scoring as well uh, on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, now if we can touch on this just really quickly, um, the Lakeland wrestlers basketball team's not a great weekend for them. Uh, women losing both to the Augustana Vikings, the men almost losing both, if not for Rashawn Russell hitting a buzzer beater to win 94-93 at home. Yeah, it could have been a disaster. You, you could have looked at an 0-4 weekend for both teams. Uh, you, you don't want that. Uh, and you played against a team like Augustana. You know, not a slight against Augustana, but never really been known for being a powerhouse True. when it comes to basketball. So nice to see them at least get a win. Uh, it doesn't get easier now. Uh, they play against Concordia next. Yeah, and Concordia typically has been one of the powerhouses in the North Division, and we'll touch on a few more uh, topics coming up over the next, uh, in the next hour rather, especially in uh, professional sports. There is a lot going on there, so stick around and we'll be back on air in the next hour.